Today, I'll share with you a very interesting story. The story is about two brothers, Billy and Willy. Now, Billy and Willy are two very mischievous brothers. Once, they went into a garden and they started plucking fruits. Now, first of all, they went to an orange tree and they started plucking oranges from the orange tree. And once they had oranges to their heart's content, then they moved on to a different tree. It was a guava tree. Now, there was some difference between orange tree and the guava tree. What was the difference? Well, for some reason, no matter how hard they tried, they were not able to reach the guavas. So, they were very amazed. Now, both are trees and both have fruits on them. Then, how come they were easily able to reach the oranges, but they could not reach the guavas? What was the major difference between these two trees? Well, if you see, there is a major difference between these two trees. And what is that? Well, the orange tree is much closer to the ground. Although both are rooted to the same ground, but the upper portion of this tree is much closer to the ground compared to this tree, which is much farther from the ground. So what do we say is the main difference between them? Well, the orange tree is short while the guava tree is tall. And because the guava tree is taller than the orange tree, as a result, they were able to reach the oranges easily while they had a lot of difficulty in reaching the guavas. So you see, something which is taller will be farther up from the ground. And as a result, you will have difficulty in reaching its height. That is, a taller thing is higher from the ground compared to a shorter thing. So, the orange tree is short while guava tree is tall. Now, let's see another example. Now, if I compare you and your dad, what exactly is the difference between both of you? Well, if you see, your dad is tall while you are short. So, you see, your dad, if measured from the ground, is at a much greater height compared to you and as a result you are short while your dad is tall now let's see another example now if you compare this building and this hut well what do we notice well let's start from the ground and if we go up this building is at a great height. And what about this hut? Well, not so much. So, we can say that this hut is short while this building is tall. Isn't it? Now, let's compare this tree and this plant. Now, what is the difference between them? Again, we talk about this tree. If we measure up from the ground, it is at a great height, while this plant, not so much. So, this plant is short, while this tree is tall. So, you see, something which is at a good height from the ground, we call it tall, while if it is at a shorter height from the ground, we call it short. So, this is tall and this is short. Now, let's come back to Billy and Willy. Now, since Billy was not able to get to the guavas, so Willy got an idea. He got a stick from somewhere and tried to reach the guavas using this stick. But even after repeated trials, even Willy was not able to reach the guavas. 
so even the stick wasn't helping so billy got another idea well basically he got another stick now this time using this stick billy was able to get to the goas so can you tell me what was the difference between the sticks used by billy and willy both of them used sticks so what was the major difference between the sticks let's see so can you see both of them have sticks in their hands but they look different what is the difference well this stick was able to reach higher than this stick because this stick is long and this stick is short don't you think so yes definitely this is long and this is short compared to this stick so this is a long stick and this is a short stick so some things are longer and some things are shorter so some things are long and some things are short so if you compare an eraser and a pencil can you tell me which one is long and which one is short definitely the eraser is short isn't it and what about the pencil pencil is long so eraser is short and pencil is long now what about the neck of the giraffe and the zebra can you tell me well definitely giraffe has a very long neck so giraffe has a long neck and what about the zebra well zebra has a short neck so you see something is long and something is short so that's how we compare between the length of two things some things are long and some things are short now can you tell me which one is long and which is short well if we see the length of this hair is much longer than length of this hair so we can say that this hair is long while this hair is short so you see this girl has long hair and this girl has short hair so we can clearly say this girl has long hair and this girl has short hair now billy and willy are very mischievous and as we know they were plucking fruits from the garden but they did not take permission from the gardener and as a result when they got caught the gardener was furious and what did he do well he tied them up so you see once they were tied naturally they wanted to get rid of these ropes so both billy and willy tried very hard to break the ropes and what exactly happened well willy was able to break his ropes and as soon as he was able to free himself he went to billy and he freed him too now did you notice willy was able to break the rope but billy could not break the rope so what was the difference between both the ropes let's see can you see if we compare this rope and this rope they are very different and what is the difference well as you see this rope is thinner than this rope and as a result this rope is a thin rope while this rope is a thick rope 
because this rope is thicker than this one so willy was tied with a thin rope and billy was tied with a thick rope and as a result willy was able to break the rope while billy couldn't because he was tied with a thick rope which was much stronger so you see thick and thin is the difference between these two ropes now let's see another example now at your home you have a blanket and you have a bed sheet now what is the major difference between both of them well a blanket is thick and a bed sheet is thin so you see a blanket is thick because a blanket is much thicker than a bed sheet so we call blanket thick while bed sheet is thin so you see thick and thin now what about these two braids what is the major difference between them well this braid is thicker than this braid isn't it this is thicker than this and as a result this is thick and this is thin now if we take a notebook and we tear a page out of it so can you tell me which one is thick and which one is thin definitely the notebook has lot of such pages and as a result it is thick and what about the page well it's a single sheet it's very thin so you see the notebook is thick while the page is thin so when we see different things around us we can define them by either tall or short that is how much up above the ground they measure if they start from the ground so if something is higher we call it tall and if something is shorter we call it short so if we are measuring from the ground that is if the object starts from the ground so how much up the ground it goes decides whether it is tall or whether it is short now apart from that when there is no ground in question it's just about length of two things then what we do well we define them as long or short so if something is longer in length we call it long and something is shorter in length then we call it short and then there is another difference now some things can be thick while some things can be thin so if something is thicker we call it thick and something is thinner we call it thin so you see this is thick while this is thin so something can be thick or thin thick or thin so you see these are the main ways by which you can define things they can be tall or short they can be long or short and they can be thick or thin don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all learning resources as per icse cbsc ib cambridge or any other curriculum over 5000 amazing lectures across maths science english and social science our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our i dictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept master each topic at your own pace 
with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests. Performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You also get amazing prizes like PlayStations, iPads, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at deltastep.com, learning is not just fun and easy, it's rewarding too. So register for free now.